Alright, so I've played a lot of DOS, and I've been experimenting with the rules for a bit, so this is just a video of me explaining the game and how it works, just so I can tell you guys, you know, how to implement this house rule and how to make DOS just a little bit more fair and a little more calculating. The game DOS is kind of a weird game. Lots of people tend to find the rules very confusing, and believe me, I did too. I had to go, I had to play the game myself multiple times in order for me to get it. So it's not a very effective game at, you know, informing people of what's going on, but the, the game's alright once you get used to it. So I'm going to make my own little house rule, and I'm calling it the center row penalty. Oh yeah. So anyways, uh, what we're gonna do is I'm going to explain how the game works because, once again, not a lot of people really know how to play, so I'll just kind of run down um, how the game works, and then I'm going to explain on why one of the rules absolutely sucks. The first thing that seems appropriate is to uh, understand how to set up the game, so I'm going to just kind of go over the first thing. The objective of the game is to earn points by being the first player to get rid of all of your cards in each round. Now in Uno, it was a little bit unofficial, but you could keep track of how many points everyone had if you wanted to play a longer game, which I would never torture anyone. But I think the reason why they did this is that games of dose are very short, and they're not as calculating as I'd like them to be, so if you want to count points then you can, if not then, then don't. Uh, each player draws a card. The player that draws the highest number deal. This step is kind of irrelevant. Just like in Uno, everybody gets seven cards, so let's do that now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In Uno, you had the one card in the center of the game, and that's where everyone played all of their cards onto. In this game, you have two cards in the center. This segues into matches. You can match cards like this. So let's say that this card is in the center. I can place a green 8 on top of that. This works because they're matching numbers. An 8 on an 8, that technically works for dose. This does not work. If it's not matching numbers, then it automatically doesn't work. This card, irrelevant. Just, just think of it as a 2. It's just a 2 for now. So let's say that this card is in the center row. I can take a 5 and add it with 2, and that technically matches. So basically, I'm adding numbers together just so it works. And that's okay by Uno, or uh, Dose standards. Alright, now I'm going to explain this card because this is kind of important. So, this is a 2, no matter what. This is a 2, but it is any color that I need it to be. This blue 7 in the center, I can add by taking a 5 and a 2 and putting it together to form 7. Simple math. But the important thing is that all of these are the same color because I said that this two is blue. This is a double color match. You make every other player draw one card, which is kind of weird because I would think you'd draw two cards, but all right. That'll be a different house rule. And you play one of your own in the center. I'll get into that in a little bit, but for now, just know that you can do that. Now I'm going to explain how this card works. This is a yellow card. No matter what, it's always yellow, always will be. I'm going to say that this is a yellow 5, and the reason behind that is because this is one of the cards in the center row. I can say that these two match, and remember, you cannot match cards based behind just their color, only by their number. So since these are identical cards, they match both by number and by color, that is a single color match. And what that does is you can play one of your own cards in the center, once again. So now that we've covered all the matches and what the special cards are, we'll, we'll just play a game and see how that goes. Each player gets seven cards. Take your draw deck and place two cards in the center. Since I'm playing by myself, I'm just going to play with this one uh, deck of cards. So just like I said, you can place number, number matching like that. So they're different colors, but they're the same number, so that works. However, um, something like this does not work because even though they are the same color, like you know in Uno, they are not the same number. A four and a four, and match it up to an eight. Addition. This card is whatever number I need it to be, one through ten, and it's yellow. I can do something like this. 
and say that this yellow hashtag is a yellow four and that's a single color match and I can place something like that. I can't do anything else. If I've made any matches, I don't have to draw, so yeah, there's that. So we get rid of this, we put it in the discard pile. We make sure that there's still two cards in the center row. And then the bonus card that I played because of the single color match goes there. And we continue to the next player's turn, which is still my turn. I can't make any other matches, so that's all for my turn. We get rid of this into the discard pile. And since there's already two cards in the center, I don't need to draw one and put it there. It's just nonsense. So continuing to the next player's turn, which is still my turn, I can't make any matches with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a card. Dos says that if you make, if you draw a card and then you can make another move from that, you may do so. However, if you still can't or you don't want to, you have to play one of your cards in the center. And of course, my turn's over, so I put my hand down. Check to see if there's uh, any less than two cards in the center. Since there's not, there's three. I don't have to put one in, so next player's turn. <laughs> my turn. I can't make any moves, so I draw. Now, I can make a move with this seven. I can do that. Matches by number. I get rid of that into the discard pile. Put my hand down. There's still two in the center. I don't have to add any. So next turn, and once again, I can't make any moves, but now I can. And so I, I match those, put that into the discard pile, and there's only one card in the center row, so I place one like that. So that's pretty much how the game works, and then if you need to if you need to discuss with me how the you know game works or if you're still confused, then I will put my Discord uh, invite link in the description and you can join through that. So let's uh, kind of segue over to the you know the rule that I kind of have a problem with. It makes the game just a little too easy. Let's set up a game again. So I match these two. The thing is, is that I still have this other this other deck just kind of sitting there, and it hasn't been fulfilled yet. Now, under typical dose rules, since I played it all, I don't have to draw. My turn just ends. I find a problem with that. If you fail to play on a deck, you have left the game unfinished, and so you should be punished for that. Since there was one deck that I did not play on, I'm going to draw one card, and after I draw, my turn is over. And then of course we go through the procedure. If you this out from this card pile, since there's only one in here, it doesn't have much to just compensate, and then my turn starts again. I'm going to make this match. It's a single color match. I place one of my own right here and leave it there. And I still violated the game. I still haven't finished my real turn. There's still just this lonely blue four just sitting here, all sad and lonely-like. So, since I ruined everything, I'm going to draw. My turn is over after I draw. I put that down. I take this, put it in the discard pile. There's only one in the center row, so I place one right here to uh, make sure it's always two. And then this is the bonus card from that single color match. I place that in the center. I'm going to make this match just to get rid of that lonely floor. And then I'm going to make this match, which is a single color match because it's an identical card. Place that like that. And I still violated the game. There's still one card that I have not completed yet. So I'm going to draw one card. My turn ends. Procedure. You get rid of these two. There's only one in the center, so I draw and put that in there. And then I place this one in here because that's my bonus. 4 plus 5 equals 9. Cool. However, now I violated two cards. So I'm going to draw two cards. That was three. Let me just put that back in the bottom. So I think you can kind of understand how this works. I basically draw as many cards as the number of decks that I have left uncompleted. This down here, go through the procedure, get rid of that. There's only two in the center, so I don't have to draw at all. And I can keep it. Loki doki. I make this match, so that's a yellow two because I say it because it's a number one through ten and it's still yellow. And this is a yellow two because it's the two and it's any color that I need to be, so I'm gonna say it's yellow. I've still left a space empty. I draw a card and my turn ends. Alrighty, and then we go through here. We place the four down. Oh, and also when you have two, you say dose. I place the ten. I've violated two cards, so 
I'm drawing two. Turns over. Procedure. I can't make... No, I can make a move. Okay, get rid of this eight. I draw two cards. Now we've reached where I wanted it to go. <laughs> so, this is a circumstance that appears in normal dose. So, in normal dose, if I can't play at all, I draw one card, and if I can make a match, in which I could, I could make this kind of match, then I can do that. If I didn't want to make a match, then I have to play one of mine in the center, and then my turn officially ends. I don't like that rule, and if anything, that's more confusing, so I'm not going to do that. My house rule dictates that since there's two in the center that I haven't played on, I draw two cards and I don't make any matches. I don't even place a card in the center. My turn is over. It is the next player's turn. So you can kind of see how this is a lot easier to parse, and it's also a bit more punishing, so that way the game can last a little bit longer and it, there's a bit more calculation involved. Typically, dose games are very short, so having a rule like this to where there's a bigger punishment for, for the lack of play, you would have to draw more cards, and that makes the game a bit more fair. Now, if you found this video helpful, then literally share it with everyone because I want this house rule to be everywhere. Dose is an amazing game. It's just that Uno still exists.